Okay, so first step to naming this molecule is identifying the longest carbon chain in the molecule. So let's see what different options we have. Um, I could go along this way and count one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, there's no longer chain than that. Um, no, there isn't, right, okay. So if I have six carbons in a row, that means my prefix is going to be hex. And because all of these carbons are singly bonded to each other, all single bonds, that means it's an alkane. So my parent molecule is hexane. My second step then is to number my carbons. And remember, I have to number them so that my branches have the lowest possible numbers. So I'm going to draw this out twice just so that we can be extra clear on which way around it should be. So one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. There's one of my branches. There's my other branch. And I'm just going to fill in blanks for hydrogens. And I'll do the same underneath. I'd always recommend drawing this out just to make sure that you get everything done correctly, that you don't think you've done something right in your head that you've turned out to have done wrong. Right, so to number them. We can number them from left to right or we can number them from right to left. Let's go left to right first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can see there that our branches, we have a methyl group on carbon five and we have another branch group on carbon four. So carbons four and five are the numbers there. Whereas if I go the other way around, so from right to left, I see that my branches are on carbons two and three, which are lower numbers than above. So because these are the lower numbers, that's the correct way that I'm going to number, that's the way we're going to number the compound, number the carbons. So that's step two done, on to step three. So I have everything numbered. Step three is name and locate your branches. So I have my branches already marked off here. So the top one there is a methyl group because it has one carbon. And I have another group down here that contains two carbons. And because it's two carbons, we call that group an ethyl group. Eth for two carbons. Now we have two different types of branch groups, a methyl and an ethyl. So we're going to have to list those separately. And the way I know which one comes first is because I list them alphabetically. So I'm going to put the ethyl group down first in the name. So I have an ethyl group, but I also have to say where it is. It's on carbon 3. So 3 dash ethyl, the dash goes in between a number and a letter. And then I go on to my next group, which is methyl, and it's on the second carbon. So that's two methyl. So three ethyl, two methyl, that's all my branches, and then my parent molecule, hexane. So all one big long word. I have hexane, six carbons in a row, and I have a methyl group on the second carbon, and an ethyl group, so it's a branch of two carbons long, on the third carbon in the chain.